don't know why every time I can do this, I have to change the settings. not changed. Let's not do my task. Oh, uh, yeah. We're doing absolutely dick. I'm going to go visit the trapper friend here. Actually, like, blow it to smithereens, is that it? Alright. Get that out of the way. Oh. Mixer thing is starting to work again. I don't need a timer. Okay, Let's go. Shake myself. But. New horse, new year, new me. Actually, I'm going to try for that fish one more time. I'm sorry, I trampled your carcass with lack of easy respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't... Oh, 
dumbest feature on a fucking console. Voice activated command system. Nobody asked for it. Jesus, it always scares the hell out of me. Fucking fish, I'm so close to it. Damn it, where'd it go? I wouldn't even begin to know how to kill that thing. This could work. I got if I don't get this fish this time around.
a tiny fish. Got yep. You, <laughs> Knew it. Of course. Uh, I'm gonna let you off. Is that how he draws alligator? What is that? Oh, I'm a little too far. Maybe. What was that? Why did that camera do a thing? Gonna tell me, eh? So there's like no fish right now? None none whatsoever. You're walking by and next to alligators like nobody's business. Come on. Far ways camp. Actually, not that far. Stay with me, don't get eaten. Mm. 
gonna take a minute. I decided to pick up three starfish. No, it wouldn't matter because I have to cross this river. Man, I guess I'm really lucky that my camps look right here, or else I would have had to give up this fish. Somebody. Dents in the fog. Who's there? Arthur, you dumbass. Welcome back, Arthur. Change.com. The shutdown continues. Well, how about that shit? You're gonna go do something. Why can't we move on? Eighteen hundred fucking dollars in funds. Just what did you say to me? Well, I, I didn't do it. I heard that. You know these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Just make sure it goes into the anything. pot. Not your pot. Arthur, come up here. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right material. Whatever you say. I'm gonna think about it. Assume I should stop here. Oh yeah, I was gonna go see the trapper. Damn. Oh my god, I actually have to come up here. I actually have to go see this ass hat. Hello, crippled. Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. No. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Oh, like you were right about the last uh, one and the one before that. And usually yep. I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Oh, another boat. A 
boat. Oh, yeah, I didn't. We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? No, it I doesn't. I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. What? Give me a second. How you doing? Let's go. Uh, you said you were with me on this. I'm. I didn't know I had to remove the fucking. Damn it. All right, let's get going. Fucking hold on to it, I Boy. suppose. <laughs> To the trapper. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't it about ain't sides. Bitch. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up, and lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, but, but... When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison Spoiler alert. Camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, oh. that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Like literally and figuratively. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. 
We are going to make it. Anyway, Whoa. here we are. Let me do the talking. Everybody except maybe Micah? Maybe maybe Micah doesn't make it? Thomas. Is that a thing? It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bring him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, yep. Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a <laughs> jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch. We keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of rep. I can handle them. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Hmm. Come on, like I said, we need to be lively here. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him.
a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some views could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we... Keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Ah, maybe that's what they were talking about. Big old bowl. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. <laughs> we really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Martha, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. Someone there? No! This way! That must be him. in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jews. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Go! 
got it loose. Go. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. None. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see them then. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Uh, 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 
There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in here. Shit! Don't let him get any closer. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't Shut think up. I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. You know. Get you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. He killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Let's go over here real quick. Easy, easy. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, good boy. There, boy. The blade is you. Yeah, good boy.
It is me, Charles Chatonnet. Oh my god. Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> Okay, come on. Oh, why do I always get fucking conned into this stuff? I'll tell you what I won't miss. A civilization so repressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. I shot in the bar. Quick, behind here! Keep up, keep up! Stay close, my shepherd! <laughs> we are away! Come now, follow me! Those fellers, you... you... shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey. We go through here. I knew him. Please do not do that again. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm moving. Come on. Oh. Good morning to you. So, wait. You ain't sold none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity. New kinds of failures. Not so much. New kinds of deviant? The whole in the pen. We go through there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <clears throat> this way, to the end of the docks. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in their cheeks. Hush! Hey! I may know these people! But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint-Denis, after all. What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. Uh, I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I am every six to eight weeks. With my impropriety, something needs to happen. I'm getting bored. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirt. Look at you, pretty little thing. I know, boys. Come on. The sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <laughs> ah, we made it. 
Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got him. He's out here. Damn it. Get up, Arthur. Now would be the time. Fuck it. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Au revoir. Tired of this. I need to get all the way to the truck.
Are you kidding me? Dude, they just fucking materialized out of nowhere. How long do you follow? All I wanted to do was use the fucking trapper in that town, and now I can't because of the fucking game. So we can go back into this town. Jesus, why does the trapper gotta be such a dick? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't point a gun at you.
Glad to see you. Later again, than home, uh, feeling off today. Well, my Welcome uncle back, says sir. he's off the booze, but I've been nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. That'll happen again, I bet. Sure, you'll see a difference right away. I don't sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. I've run this yep. stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. A lot of folk want to apprentice under me. <laughs> I got no competition. Why would I want some? Ah, <sighs> it's about time already. And do I hate my neighbors? You'll be fine. Big mouth, don't you? <laughs> Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! Yeah. Really? This town fucking sucks. Yeah, good boy. Hi there. Oh, come on. I only wanted to go in there for a trapper, and I came out with a fucking seventy dollar bounty. Yep.
Nope, can I ignore it? Anything about this? I'll kill you. No, I won't ask again. Don't! I beg you! I presume that means yes. Don't make me come looking for you. Oh, save me! Ah. Are you? Hey, mister. Come, sir. Welcome. I have a fresh supply of crawfish bait. You won't find better nowhere. Okay, then. Use it well. Goodbye. Rupert! Ames with you, Sullivan. Ames with you, Sullivan. I'm glad that's the highlight of my day.
have all those lake floors. Did you forget something? You are the nicest lady out of everybody in this damn swamp. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come You're on. You're not going to answer Bill's question. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. I didn't pull any weapons off my horse. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love leaving love aside. I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Good job, Arthur. Jesus, you're an idiot. Shotgun, repeater, pistols, sweet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Let's go. some cover. Two up ahead. Have you got a shot? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you You're kidding me. Keep shooting, boys. Just looting some dead bodies.
Now kick that damn door in. Arthur. We got no. more inside. <laughs> oh shit, nothing to lose your head over. Got a guy out a window. Where are you hiding? Name your price, every man of a price. Eh? Okay, okay, no, I surrender. I surrender. I'm... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Are you kidding me? Let's go, Arthur. No, you can shut your hell up. What's that Mauser pistol? Are we taking him to Dutch then? No, you're gonna pick him up. Get 
Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed oh, oh, of! Oh, Our oh, friends, the oh, Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you oh, repulsive oh, little maggot! Oh, 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 call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. Mm. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Let's not pretend like there wasn't just a big heaping pile of foreshadowing right there at that shot of John and Arthur. Jesus. There's not a legendary alligator. There was. Ah, my bounty's 172 fucking dollars. materials and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Appreciate it, Pearson. Good morning. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Yes. He was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all Good the day, time Mr. you need. Morgan. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in Good town. Good morning, Arthur. Looking, watching, and and waiting. I've, I've tested them. Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? the city there are police but as far as we can tell the patrols will all be going this way when abigail and i cause the diversion that's the opportunity what do you think arthur i don't see we have a lot of choice we linger around here we know we're dead but the plan we got a decent bunch we know how to fight 
The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! Come on, Jose, you get moving. We ain't got all day. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? Is he in camp? Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. And right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah! Catch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Focal.
country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this is better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He's a true <coughs> We got a problem out here! Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on!
Get up the ladder. John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. Uh, what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're going to be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? 
We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Well, we die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Look out on the left. Get down and stay out of sight. For Sean and Kieran. Next, Hosea. Someone's coming. Mm -hmm. Duck. And Lenny. Hey, I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. Stop, Arthur. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. See that? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Yeah, real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful Someone acts I ever saw. Come on.
Charles dies too. I swear to God. I mean, I know eventually everybody has to die because how this fucking first game plays out. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that Abigail. Good. I know. So, what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain, give him some of this gold to secure his silence, and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. Hmm. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money? And loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Every time, every time. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Archer! Wake up! Wake up! What? Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Getting attacked right now. Ah, hurts. Dance. I'm okay. You? Yeah. Oh. This ain't moving. Uh, yeah, you go on ahead. Try to find another way. Oh, God damn it! I know that fucking well. Uh, I think I do. Where the hell am I? <coughs> Can you 
and check your map. <laughs> oh, this seems all too familiar. Feeling of helplessness. There's nothing you can do about it. Cores are depleted. It is a miracle! It is a goddamn miracle! Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink! Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, Why is Micah you. still alive? We got you. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island, east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? 
What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Oh, my Surviving. Alley cat. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! Means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs, and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. A bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. He'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, Disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. <sighs> I guess this would coincide with the start of Red Dead Redemption. I don't know if I'm ever be able to come back. Who to are this these island. people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed. But they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. Todos.
everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, damn. Reinforcements. What you? We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David, everyone, follow me. Wait, David, come, come, come. Oh, oh no. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dad. <coughs> Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we on? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? Tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that dead. cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do 
some more scouting carefully. Okay. We'll be back with some Overwatch. Oh my god. Is he still fucking walking? <laughs>